We're here in the Istabrak Hall and I'm joined by John Coleman and John Moran. John Moran, tell us about what exactly is happening here today. We've got John to come down from Dublin, right? That's the first thing. Um, no, I mean, this is all about redesigning Limerick City, right? So for people in Limerick, they're all familiar with the Georgian area, the size of that. There is land in behind Colbert Station that people probably don't know that is available for houses and offices. And this is about bringing all the landowners of that together and explaining the process that we want to go through to, to basically solicit views from Limerick. Mm -hmm. What kind of housing would they like? How would we actually build that out? And then over probably the next eight to 10 years, pretty much providing accommodation for about a third of the population growth that Limerick expects by 2040. John Coleman, how important is this for Limerick City and County? I think it's hugely important for Limerick City and County. I mean, these things are really hard to do. And I think what it illustrates well is the power of the state to be able to turn these big levers when it needs to. The reason it's hard to do is land in the city centre is much harder to develop than land on the outskirts because you have fields on the outskirts, you have existing things going on in the city centre. So with the state, we can get all these state bodies, the CIE, the HSE and the LDA and Limerick City and County Council together to combine the resources, combine their land and look at things holistically to create the big picture. Also, it's about, I suppose, making Limerick greener. How do we get the general public on board? I think consultation is key and one of the things that John keeps uh, pushing me on is, is the consultation piece. So from the outset, as, as we'll present later on, we're going to have, uh, from, from today, we're going to have continued engagement with the public. We want to feed in their views. We want to make them feel part of it, make them feel that they own it, which they do, mm -hmm. because it is the state after all, and we're servants of, of, the, of the public. So uh, consultation all the way and taking people's views on board and making them become apparent in the in the process and in the design and in the development that we eventually put on this great site. I might just say one thing yep. on that, right? So one of the things we want to do is we're going to be charged as the landowners and the LDA mm -hmm. to, in effect, develop a design brief for the team that are the experts that are going to look and see what you could do with the site, okay? And often in those situations, it's done behind closed doors, the stakeholders, the landowners do it. As John says, these are all state agencies, so one of the things we're going to be asking the people of Limerick, and indeed the people beyond Limerick, because what we do here will dictate what happens in Waterford and in Cork and Galway, is to give us a short one page, not 40 pages, high level idea of what they would like to see or what they wouldn't like to see, if, I mean, because it works both ways. There'll be plenty of opportunity later as we go through the process over the summer, after the summer, for much more detailed consultation. But if people have some really big, I mean, if we had done this in December, mm. if it was their Christmas Santa list, they would be telling David, the head of the design review, what they would like to see. And I think that's really important that we get the message out there for people to do it. We're going to have a website mm. or a, an email address for people to send in. Just a one pager that kind of gives us a sense of what the public would really like. I'm now joined by Marie Woods who is the senior partner here and I um, have to say how good is it that this is happening for Limerick City and County? This is, this is great news for Limerick City and County. It's about getting all the agencies working together. Limerick is earmarked under the National Plan Framework as one of the cities to grow um, and as a counterbalance to Dublin. So this for Limerick, particularly the fact it's within the city centre, is a huge opportunity and about bringing new life and new businesses and new mixed use developments into a city centre location. It's so great as well to have everyone on board and you know for all the land that's there to be developed so it must be great to be involved in that process. Yep it is, it's very exciting for us and I suppose it's great to be as part, a part of this overall project with the different agencies and again it's timely for us because we're about to embark on our new city and county development plan for the first joint development plan for Limerick city and county since the amalgamation of authority so this will feed in hopefully to that process as well. And how important is this, I suppose, for the general public as well of Limerick City and County? Again, this is the, we're hoping that as much the public will get involved and that they'll participate in the, you know, in the, in the engagement of it while it's being designed. So again, having people's views and finding out what people want is key to this process. I'm now joined by David Brown. Can you tell me how important is what is happening here today, I suppose? Well, I, I think it's very important both in terms of Ireland 2040 and in terms of the, the LDA because it's the first really big project that's being undertaken by the LDA. I think the site area is 50 hectares, so it has potential for a large amount of development. For me, I think it's really important that it's going to be an exemplar that will guide other development that the LDA will carry out over the years. And I would be looking for a real exemplar of the best in compact, sustainable urban development. I would, I, I would love to see us making urban living a really attractive way of life for people into the future 
so that we people will I suppose have a choice they can live in the suburbs if they want but that we provide a really good viable place for people to live not just their first 10 years of married life as happens <laughs> now but the whole of their lives in living in the city and enjoying the, the all of the good things that city life can bring. I think as well now everyone is really looking for sustainable green and that's what people want and I guess that's what this is going to do for Limerick. Well the interesting thing is if you if you build more compactly you take up less land for the amount of houses you're building you, you the, the the form of the building is much more energy efficient and there are lots of pluses in terms of of of, of urban development as a sustainable way of building i have to say david i'm very excited to see what is going to be rolled out next for limerick thank you so much pleasure